For decades, the battle for air superiority has shaped global military strategies. But what if I told you that the next war might not be fought at Mark II or even Mark III, but at speeds exceeding Mark VI? Imagine a world where hypersonic interceptors can eliminate threats before they even know they've been detected. A world where reconnaissance aircraft fly so fast that enemy defenses are rendered obsolete. This is the future of air warfare, and two groundbreaking aircraft are at the center of it all. Russia's MiG-41, a rumored hypersonic interceptor, and the United States' SR-72 Dark Star, the spiritual successor to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird. Both aircraft promise unmatched speed, stealth, and cutting-edge technology. But if they were to face off in a high-speed showdown, which one would come out on top? And more importantly, would this be the final evolution of aerial warfare as we know it? Welcome to our channel. If you love military aviation, cutting-edge technology, and in-depth analysis of the world's most advanced aircraft, then you're in the right place. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Now let's dive into this high-stakes battle between the MiG-41 and the SR-72. But before we begin, which do you think will dominate the skies? Russia's hypersonic interceptor or the US next-gen reconnaissance aircraft? Let us know in the comments. MiG-41, the Phantom Interceptor. The MiG-41 is Russia's answer to the growing need for hypersonic air defense. Designed to replace the MiG-31 Foxhound, this aircraft is rumored to be capable of flying at speeds beyond Mach 6, potentially even near space operations. The key to the MiG-41's incredible speed lies in its hybrid propulsion system, a combination of turbojet and scramjet technology, allowing it to transition seamlessly between subsonic, supersonic, and hypersonic speeds. This would make it one of the fastest piloted aircraft ever conceived. But its speed isn't its only weapon. The MiG-41 is expected to feature advanced stealth coatings, next-generation avionics, and AI-assisted targeting systems capable of tracking and neutralizing hypersonic threats in real time. Some reports even suggest that it could be armed with anti-satellite weapons, giving Russia the ability to target enemy satellites and disrupt battlefield communications. However, Despite its rumored capabilities, the MiG-41 remains a project shrouded in secrecy. Russia has claimed it will enter service by the 2030s, but given the technological and financial hurdles, many remain skeptical. SR-72 Dark Star – The Ghost of the Skies On the other side of the battlefield, we have the SR-72, also known as the Son of Blackbird. Unlike the MiG-41, which is designed as an interceptor, the SR-72 is built for high-speed reconnaissance and strike missions. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division has been working on this next-generation aircraft for years, with a goal of making it the fastest operational plane ever created. Unlike its predecessor, the SR-71, which relied on evasion, the SR-72 aims to outrun any potential threat with sheer speed, potentially reaching Mach 6 or higher. The SR-72 will likely use dual-mode engines, combining traditional jet propulsion for takeoff and landing with scramjet technology for hypersonic speeds. This will allow it to cover vast distances in a matter of minutes, making it nearly impossible to intercept using traditional air defenses. However, what makes the SR-72 truly terrifying isn't just its speed, it's the possibility of being armed with hypersonic weapons. Imagine an aircraft that can launch a missile at Mark 6, striking targets before they even realize they're under attack. Despite its ambitious design, many still question whether the SR-72 will become a reality. The US military has been tight-lipped about the project, but if it does enter service, it could change the face of modern warfare forever. Hypersonic dogfight. Who has the edge? If the MiG-41 and SR-72 were to face off in a real-world scenario, who would have the advantage? At first glance, 
The MiG-41 seems better suited for air-to-air -air combat. Its role as an interceptor means it is designed to eliminate incoming threats, including high-speed bombers and possibly even hypersonic missiles. If the MiG-41's rumored long-range air-to-air missiles and advanced radar systems are accurate, it could theoretically engage and destroy the SR-72 before it even enters the battle zone. However, the SR-72 isn't built for direct confrontation. It's built to avoid combat altogether. Its sheer speed and stealth capabilities could allow it to complete its mission before the MiG-41 even gets a lock on its position. If the SR-72 were to engage in hit-and-run tactics, delivering precision strikes and vanishing before Russian defenses could react, it could prove to be an unstoppable force. Ultimately, this battle may come down to detection versus evasion. If the MiG-41 can lock onto the SR-72 before it completes its mission, it may have a chance to intercept. But if the SR-72 remains undetectable or simply outruns any incoming attack, the MiG-41's speed advantage becomes meaningless. But what if speed alone isn't the deciding factor? The Hidden Weaknesses So far, both aircraft seem almost unstoppable. But what about their weaknesses? Every cutting-edge weapon has its flaws, and the MiG-41 and SR-72 are no exception. The MiG-41's weaknesses While the MiG-41 boasts extreme speed and interception capabilities, its biggest challenge may be detection and reaction time. At hypersonic speeds, identifying and engaging a target becomes incredibly difficult. Even with advanced AI assistance, intercepting an enemy traveling at Mach 6 or higher leaves only seconds to react. Additionally, the cost and production complexity of the MiG-41 could be a major setback. Russia has struggled with funding next-generation aircraft projects before. Just look at the Su-57 stealth fighter, which faced years of delays. If the MiG-41 suffers the same fate, it might remain more of a concept than an operational aircraft. The SR-72's weaknesses On the other hand, the SR-72's greatest strength, its incredible speed, could also be its Achilles heel. At hypersonic speeds, maneuverability is severely limited. If the MiG-41 or any other interceptor were to successfully track the SR-72, dodging an incoming missile could be nearly impossible. Another concern is the lack of real-world testing. Unlike the SR-71, which had decades of proven success, the SR-72 remains an experimental concept. Without confirmed capabilities, it's still unclear whether it will truly live up to the hype. And there's one more thing, something that could change everything we thought we knew about this battle. The plot twist, the future of hypersonic warfare. What if the MiG-41 and SR-72 never actually fight each other? Both aircraft represent a shift in military doctrine from traditional dogfights to unmanned, AI-driven warfare. The future might not be about piloted hypersonic jets, but autonomous, AI-powered aircraft that can think, react, and engage faster than any human. There are already reports suggesting that the MiG-41 could be fully unmanned, making it more resilient to extreme speeds and G-forces. Similarly, some military analysts speculate that the SR-72 might never have a pilot at all. If both aircraft become autonomous, the idea of a traditional aerial battle might become obsolete. Instead of a MiG-41 versus SR-72 dogfight, the real battle might be AI versus AI, a war fought by drones and hypersonic weapons, not human pilots. So, after everything we've explored, who truly wins this battle? The MiG-41, a hypersonic interceptor designed to dominate the skies, or the SR-72, a reconnaissance and strike aircraft too fast to be caught. Or maybe the real question isn't which plane is better, but whether human pilots will even have a place in the next generation of air warfare. What do you think? Will hypersonic planes like these define the future? Or are we heading towards a battlefield where AI and drones take over entirely. 
let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of hypersonic aircraft, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.